18th of May election and the 28th of May election is won by the whole of our 85 million people. But I said one more thing you should remember. We will win so much that no one will be losing. Therefore, today the winner is Turkey itself. From our democracy and advancement and our objective, without compromising, we have opened the door of century of Turkey, but all together, male, female, elderly, or youth, all the parts of our nation, their dreams, their excitements, we have realized together and the hopes of our friends whose eyes and hearts with us we have raised together and hopefully for every challenge just look at this great people so this square of Kısıklı has written history. One Istanbul is a one Üsküdar and Kısıklı citizen. I thank my God for giving me companions like you of every victory we will celebrate with you and now we have 2024 you know what i mean in 2024 we will win Üsküdar, istanbul in local elections are we ready for that then we should not stop and we should work very hard. Now I just ask how many people are there in Kısıklı? I asked, do you know the number? 55,000 people. 55,000 people. And the elections are coming and going and the only remaining thing is to stick on the objectives of our country and to stick into solidarity and togetherness of our nation and the biggest message from today's election is this the results of the elections showed once more that no one can prevent the earnings of this country. Now the world countries are calling. Azerbaijan President Ilham Aliyev, my brother, called me. Then Uzbekistan President Cherkez Birzaev called me. Libya Prime Minister called. All of them are calling one by one and they are saying that if necessary, please do invite, we can come right now because this victory both with us in the West or in the Gulf, Qatar is calling the same way they are sharing this. No one can prevent or compromise rights and freedom of our nation. No one should stumble our people or insult our people or pull our youth to their deepest dark and no one should show finger to us 
from terror organization to dark units. None of the dark tools can be used and no one can prevent our nation from the objectives of being one, being strong, being together and together being Turkey. My brothers and sisters, and now let's yell out so much that Ankara should hear this. Istanbul, all the districts should hear this. My brothers, this Republican People's Party, are they supporting LGBT? This HDP, are they supporting LGBT? This E party is supporting LGBT? And there are some siblings. Are they still the LGBT supporters? So can any LGBT sneak into AK party or National Movement Party or any other members of the Alliance of the Republic? So let's shall not forget, like the great poet you know, says, we always rebirth and no one gets bored of us. So every election is a rebirth for us. For us, the family is sacred. No one can touch our families. Violence against women is forbidden very strictly. No one can do it, and we just crush them if that's the case. In the upcoming period, whatever we promised to our nation, we will do it. So we never gave any promise which we cannot fulfill. With these feelings, now I'm going to Ankara. This time, we will make a change and the balcony speech will be in the presidential complex. From the presidential complex, we will call to all world. Are you allowing us? So let's yell out the whole Turkey. Then you're watching A News. This is the 2023 presidential elections of Turkey. Now, Supreme Election Board head has announced Recep Tayyip Erdogan re-elected Turkey as president in runoff election. And both domestic and international votes, when we count them, 197,000 ballot boxes, 196,000 are open, and the ballot box open ratio is 99. Point 43 percent, and to Mr. Recep Tayyip Erdogan, 52.14 percent, and to Mr. Kılıçdaroğlu, 47.8 percent. And Mr. Recep Tayyip Erdogan, 27 million 566 thousand, and Mr. Kılıçdaroğlu, 25 million 260 thousand votes, and between both candidate as of now 2.2 million difference have been seen and as of now the unregistered 800,000 of voters all of them will not if it is given all of to one of them the results will not be changed and is the president of the Republic of Turkey, Mr. Recep Tayyip Erdogan, was elected as the president. During the election process, we would like to thank all the nation who were very calm and also in the Supreme Election Committee members who acted as full independent and the representatives of the political party 
to our central, south and provincial and district personnel and to everyone who contributed for a safe and healthy elections, ministries, security forces, and since the beginning, having role in all the coordination in all stakeholder institutions and new distinguished press members with our most heartfelt feelings. We wish the results to be fruitful for our community.